In this tutorial, we are going to convert decimal values into their fraction equivalents. The first thing you do is look at the number after your decimal. For 0 0.8, that digit would be 8, and we write that number as our numerator. And for our denominator, we simply write whatever the last place value is after our decimal. If you do not remember what the decimal place values are, there is a way around this. If there is only one digit after your decimal, as in this case, then just simply write one zero on the bottom. And in front of that zero, just write the number one. So we would say that the eight is in the tenths place. For this number here, 0 0.15, we write 15 as our numerator. And because we have two numbers after our decimal, we write two zeros, and after writing those two zeros, we simply stick a one in front of those two zeros, and we would say that our 15 is in the hundredths place. Now these two fractions are not expressed in simplest form. In order to express these fractions in simplest form, you must divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of 8 and 10 is 2, so we must divide the top by 2, and we must divide the bottom by 2 as well. And 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4, and 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So we would say that 0 0.8, or 8 tenths, expressed as a fraction in simplest terms, is 4 fifths. And the greatest common factor for 15 and 100 is 5. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3, and 100 divided by 5 is equal to 20. So we would say that 15 hundredths, reduced in simplest form, is 3 twentieths. Now let's convert the decimal value 0 0.725 as its fraction equivalent in simplest form. The first thing I'm going to do is write 725 as our numerator, and because we have three place values after our decimal, I am going to write three zeros on the bottom, and after that I'm simply going to stick a one in front of those zeros. So we would pronounce this value 0 and 725 thousandths. Now we must express 725 thousandths in simplest form, so what we have to do is Start by dividing by a common factor. You may not recognize what the greatest common factor is right away, but that's okay. You can start with any common factor at first and eventually reduce to simplest form. I can recognize that the numerator is divisible by 5 and the denominator is divisible by 5 because the top ends in a 5 and the bottom ends in a 0. So I'm going to start by dividing 725 by 5 and 1,000 divided by 5 as well. And 1,000 divided by 5 is equal to 200. And 725 divided by 5 is equal to 145. And we can reduce 145 over 200 even further. And once again, both of these numbers are divisible by 5. So I'm going to divide both the top and the bottom by 5 once again. 200 divided by 5 is equal to 40, and 145 divided by 5 is equal to 29. So now we have the fraction 29 over 40. The only common factor that 29 and 40 share is the number 1. And when the number 1 is the only common factor remaining, you have reduced your fraction into simplest form. So we would say that 725 thousandths expressed as a fraction in simplest form is 29 fortieths.